Hello everybody, I'm Linda Monroe Ward and I would like to show you where you can find some symbols in Adobe Illustrator that you can use in animations that you would create in Adobe Animate and also in Adobe After Effects. If you look on the right side of your screen there is a row of icons and I'm going to click on the one that looks like a club of a club that you find in uh, playing cards and I'm going to click on that. I will click on the words the symbols palette shows and I will click on the word symbols at the top of the palette and drag it off to this side so that I've got it out there. Okay. Right now there's one, two, three, four, five, six symbols in the symbols palette. Well, <laughs> I might need more than that. Let's say I want this this uh, splash. All I do is I click on the icon of the splash in the symbols palette, drag it out, and drop it on my page. I've only uh, what I did was open a blank page to drop these on. Now there are more symbol palettes than that. I will click on the drop down menu on the top right corner of the symbols palette and go clear to the bottom and click and uh, hover over open symbols library and come down and get some more symbols. Let's say I would like some flowers. What happens is the flowers palette will open and here's some more symbols. Let's say in my animation I might want some little flowers so I'll grab some flowers. There's one. Here's another flower. I'll do a little garden of flowers in my animation. Here's another one. And here's another one. And I think that's all of them that's going to stand up like that. Oh, here's a dandelion. We don't want dandelions in the garden, but I'll put dandelions in my garden. So here's some symbols. Uh, I'll, I might not use the the blob so I'll click on it and hit the delete key. Now I might want some people in my animation so I'll go back to the symbols palette. Oh you will notice that as I was clicking these symbols and dragging them out they were showing up in the symbols palette. This is actually the flower symbols palette but this is they showed up here and this is important uh, I'll show you later what that's about. Now let's go find some people. I'll click on the drop down menu, go to Open Symbols Library, and I know there's some people in um, Tiki. So here's the Tiki palette, and I see a woman. So I will click on her icon and drag her out to the, t to the screen. Uh, there's a man. I will click on him in the Tiki palette. Drag him out and drop him on my screen. Uh, let's see, there's a, there's a cat. I'll get the cat out. That's pretty good. And I'll get, um, let's see, a picnic table. Maybe they'll be around a picnic table. Maybe I'll have some flowers around the picnic table in my animation. Um, I guess that might be enough. Okay, now that's where I could find some symbols. Let's say, while I'm in Illustrator, I've got this girl, but let's say I want her to have a red dress. What I will do is I'll click on her, and in the Symbols palette, down at the bottom, there is an uh, icon there that says Break Link to Symbol. So, now you see there's lines around all the parts of her. So what I will do now, is all along I've been using the selection tool, it's the black arrow. I will go to the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, and I can actually go in and click on her dress. Now, with that selected, I can go to my swatches panel and I'll have her wear a red dress. So that's, she's all set. Ah, oh, her shoes are also, let's zoom in. I will go Command or Control, plus, plus, plus. Now I'll hold the space bar down to get the hand tool. We've got to change her shoes too. 
Let's change your shoes. I've, I've clicked once on that shoe. I'll hold the shift key and click on the second shoe. Let's change your shoes to red also. Okay. Oops. Now let's get the other shoe. Now we'll get that one red too. Okay, so her shoes are red. Her headband needs to be red too. So let's click on her headband and make it red. Okay, so my girl's all done. So I'm going to go Command minus minus. Now I've got the man. I want his shirt to be some other color. Now when I click on him, he's actually still hooked to the symbol palette. So what I'm going to do is go in the symbol palette and uh, break him away from that too. Now with the direct select tool, I can click on his shirt and I can make his shirt, let's make his shirt like a vest. Let's make it a different color. He's got these pants on. Let's make him wear a brown vest. That's pretty good. I'll leave the sleeves the teal color. But this is how you can actually edit these symbols in Illustrator before you bring them into Adobe Animate. Now, how do I get them in Adobe Animate? I'm going to get the black arrow, the selection tool. Let me go Command-0 to zoom out so that I can see all of my, my symbols. Okay, we'll bring this back over here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on the woman. Whoops. I have to group her back. Let's select all of her. And I will go Object Group so that she'll be one thing. And I think I probably have to do it with a man too. So I'll select him, go object group, or command G, or control G on the uh, PC. Okay, let's go to animate first. In animate, let me close this. In animate, you will actually create your animation using Action Script 3. So when you open Adobe Animate, you'll see this screen and you will click on Action Script 3. And a stage appears. Right now that stage is a width of 550 pixels and a height of 400. We could increase that or we can decrease it. And the frames per second is 12, 24. That's pretty average. Okay. I can change the color of my stage by clicking on this button next, this color swatch next to the word stage in the properties. So I'll click there and maybe I want my stage to be kind of a, I don't know, maybe a pretty blue. I'll make it a blue so that it'll be look like a sky. Okay, so there's the stage. It's actually on layer one. I will double click layer one and call it background. Okay, and hit return. Now on the background, we may want to put some shapes in here to make like a ground and then there's a sky up here. So I will actually do the rectangle tool and I will just draw a ground. And right now, let's select it. Right now, that ground has a fill of uh, yellow. So I will click in the properties menu that and make that ground green. Let's just make it green. Okay. Now, I can actually take my move tool or selection tool and I can actually make a hill. I can make a hill here. It's pretty nice. And maybe I might want to do it. Whoops. So I've made kind of a hill. That's how you can reshape this. Now this is on the background. Now the things that I don't want to move will be on the background. So let's go get some flowers. I will go in Adobe Illustrator and let me get this flower. All I have to do is click on that flower in Illustrator and go Command-C 
or control C on the PC, go back to animate and go edit, paste in center. We'll just paste it in the center. Now it's preparing to import. Now I can paste using the Adobe Illustrator file importer preferences or I can place it as a bitmap but I want it to be able to stretch and move. A bitmap is like a raster image that you studied earlier in this course where a vector image if I paste it as an AI file it'll be a vector image and I will go OK. OK this flower is actually on the background layer Nope, they made it on a different layer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So there's a flower. Okay. Now, if we look in the library, here it is. Here's the illustrator symbols. If it's in a folder. And there's the Kayla Lily. And I don't know what that is. Oh, there's different versions I could have, but there's the Kayla Lily. Okay, now I can also go back to Illustrator and I can uh, get this table. I will click on it, go Command or Control C to copy it. I will go back into Illustrator or um, uh, Animate and go Edit, Paste, and Center again. Now this will be on its own layer. Okay. Okay, here's the picnic table. Okay. There it is. And I might make that picnic table a little smaller, but we'll do that later. I'm just going to bring some of these symbols in. Now let's go get the man. This one, this layer I will rename C-A-L-A -A, Lily. And this layer, the next layer above that has the picnic table on, I will name P-I-C-N-I-C-T-A-B-L-E. Okay, and hit enter. Now I will go get my man and my woman. So I'll go back to Illustrator, click on the woman, go Command or Control C, go back to Animate, go Command or Control V to paste. Same thing. I'll go OK. And there's my woman. OK. There's my woman. And she's on her own layer, so I will double click her layer and write woman and hit enter or return. Now let's go get my man. Go into Illustrator. Get my man. Go Command C or Control C. Go to Animate. Command or Control V and go OK and there's my man M-A-N OK hit return or enter so I have these things already set up on layers in my flash animate OK I can just bring some flowers down here maybe and my background, I think I will lock my background. There is a lock here. I will lock my background so I can't touch it anymore. Let's see. Let's unlock it. Seems like, ah, there was. Let's lock everything else. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control, I'm going to select just that background. I, I locked all the layers above it. And I do not want a red stroke on that. So I will click on the red uh, color tab there and say no. Okay, now I just have a green background. So I'll lock my background and I will unlock the other layers. Now, what I'm going to do, ah, let's first get the cat too. We'll put the cat above this layer. Let's go back to Anime or Illustrate. Get the cat, Command or Control C, Animate, Command or Control V, and go OK. And there's my cat, and I will name his layer Cat. 
Okay, so I have gotten some symbols from Illustrator and copied them out of Illustrator and pasted them into Adobe Animate. And they're all on my screen. They're on different layers. You saw how I renamed the layers and you saw how I locked the background once the background was the way I wanted it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you some ways you can animate some of this stuff.